transmission from the captain's dropship was from this area. That was over 12 hours ago. When you locate Captain Keys, radio in, and I'll come pick you up. So, yeah. That happened. Can't she just leave well enough alone? No, they can't. And now... They found something. something. So, so how'd that there cutscene go for you? Went pretty well. That's it, good. If you listen very carefully at this point in the game, this here place, you can hear, you know... 420 rounds. You can hear the people who were on this pelican talking. They found some sort of large structure in the ground. Hmm. And they're calling very loudly for evacuation. Hmm. I like large structures. And we have some Covenant stragglers, but they don't seem to be organized in any particular way. And they're not particularly organized. And here's a crashed dropship. Yeah, that dropship crashed. This is where Halo goes kind of survival horror-y. I love survival horror stuff. Oh god, so many bullets coming at me. Game gets Let's a little see. bit creepy here. I mean, it's not like amnesia style, oh my god, I want to tear my eyes out so I never have to see this again. <laughs> it's a little bit creepy. I wonder if anyone has ever teared their eyes out because they didn't want to see something anymore. Probably. Really? I don't like, I don't know if I would tear my eyes out. Knowing the nature of the ancient Greeks, that probably happened at least once. <laughs> Isn't that what Orpheus's mom or not Orpheus, Oedipus. Not what Oedipus's mom slash wife did when she found so. out she, like, stabbed her own eyes out with, like, sewing needles. I have no idea. No, 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 that was, um, Oedipus himself. Oedipus did that. Oedipus's, did he? Oedipus's mom-wife just killed herself. Oh. My mom-wife is dead. Stab eyes. No more eyes for me. And apparently we can't get over there, but there's green on the radar. So I have eyes for no one. Lol. Lol. That was a joke. So, even even though this is ten years ago, this place is still actually kind of impressive. Impressive yeah. looking. It's not the most high quality area, but it's got a very nice ambience to it. I like it. Yeah, kind of, kind of like Ico, which is ten years old. Yep. That still looks pretty sweet. Yeah, Ico is still a pretty good looking game. Except Yorda is still really annoying. Yes. It's like the only thing but. I don't like about Ico is the characters. And the characters have so little character to them that it's impressive that they're that annoying. Oh, hey, we can get over here. Oh, wow, you are on a log or something. I'm on a tree. Like a, log. a big horizontal tree. A horizontal... I don't know. It's a horizontal tree. A horizontal tree. And there's a dead guy here. Hug him. He just needs a hug. Then he'll be all better. Apparently someone really wanted me to see this tree because there are lights pointing to it. Look at that tree, man. It's horizontal and gigantic. It's Actually, awesome. what, what this area reminds me of, and this is going to out me for the obscure games I played as a... Ooh, invisibility. I played as a kid. This reminds me kind of a first-person, high-quality version of the jungle area from the Star Wars Episode One video game. I don't know if I played that or not. If you didn't, I envy you, because it was really bad, but it was the only game I had for a really long time. What system was it for? PC. PC? No. Oh, I think it was I think it was on the original PlayStation 2. No, oh, I've only played a few different PlayStation 1 games. And by few I mean like ten. Maybe. I don't know. Well ten's a bunch. Ten is more than three. Why can't six. I kill these guys? I'm because invisible. Murder. Come on, stop shooting at me. I'm invisible. Can't you're even see me. You're too morally sound. Come on, man. Sound. You're too morally sound for murder. You need to be a little bit more crazy. 
Work on your not being sane. Yeah, the, the hundreds of aliens I've killed so far in this game, and I'm... I'm morally sound. Yeah, you can't murder. What's next? You're not the guys, good enough. What's next? Murder. The guys from Borderlands are pacifists? Yes. No. Not at all. Yes, though. And in, in some way. No, and yes. And not at all. But yes. But mostly not at all. I would say. Ah! Ah! If you can't hit what you're shooting at, shoot more bullets. I like shooting bullets. Well, what's the point of shooting a bullet? Like, why would you shoot another bullet with a bullet? <coughs> cough. How dare you cough at well, me? Well, now that we've mopped up everyone out here, um, when we came over that hill, which I don't think is the way we we're supposed to come, but I don't play by the rules, we saw some human weapons being fired out from in here as the Covenant were running away. Wait, I, was a cannon shooting at human bodies? Yes. <laughs> yes. I want one of those. And now there's an elevator. Going down into the place that Cortana said we had to stop people from going into. Let's go! Let's go there. We are on an elevator. Woo! Loading yes. done. Checkpoint done. Checkpoint done. Ever wonder why your milk gets sour? Surprise! Sour milk. I was trying to throw grenades, but I have none. Which is sad. Because that would have been the perfect place to throw a grenade. What? Nah, you died. <laughs> And if people were wondering why I said that milk thing, a thing popped up on the corner of the screen that said that. Yep, it's an invite to an event for one of my Steam groups. Which it's I an get... event where you sit around and think about why milk goes sour. That's where they tell you why milk goes sour, because they know these things. Because yeah. they're wizards. Wizards know things. It's things that mortals should never know. There are some things men should not touch. Sour milk is really bad on your cereal. No, it's not. Yes, yes, it is. I would know because I had some cornflakes with sour milk the other day. I didn't know it was sour until I put it in my mouth, and then it was all gross. Gross. Awesome. Why is there yogurt in this milk carton? <laughs> Why is my milk chewy? <laughs> Also, I'm seeing a distinct... Stop shooting me in the face with the overcharged pistols, please. No. Speaking of please, I saw the Amanda show for the first time today in like nine years. I remember that show. It I was, used to watch it a long time ago. It was the skit with the girl that always said please. Which is kind of a silly idea for a skit. Thankfully, yeah. there was more to that skit. She was always trying to see Amanda, even though she was Amanda. I remember that. I liked that show. I would always, I'd always be like, man, is she ever going to get to meet Amanda? But no. As far as I know, she didn't. Didn't she get to meet her in the season fina or the series finale? I don't know. I never saw the series finale. Really? Nope. I think you need a visit to YouTube when we're done recording. I do. I haven't seen that show in forever. I think it's a good idea that we decided to LP this game because there's... These big, like, sections where there's nothing to talk about so we can talk about random stuff. Which is apparently, random things. is apparently something a lot of our subscribers, or at least my subscribers, are the ones who are watching this. The, you know, 30 of you who watch every episode, the other 370 of you are slackers! I can say that behind their backs because they can't hear me because they're not... I blew myself up. <laughs> I'm talking to all 370 of you. You guys suck. Ha! <laughs> I, I said it. <laughs> you actually went through with it. You actually went oh. through with it. Oh my god. Oh, uh, now I'm gonna get beat up by 370 people if they watch the video. Well, you know, Total, yes. to Total Biscuit did get 500,000 subscribers out of just being a jerk to everyone he talks to. So... That's true. Maybe you'll get me a couple of subscribers out of calling them all suck. 
Oh, then, the, then there's like the Yogg's cast, who are really nice to everybody. Also, there's blood dripping down from the ceiling. I love blood, especially when it drips down from ceilings. It's like a bath. It's like a shower. That's how I bathe most days. Even though this is green, this reminds me of the last level of Max Payne. Ooh. When you're in the hotel room. And the fact that I can hear my heartbeat just makes it all the more convincing. I like hearts. They taste good. You eat them to ensure that your children will be strong and can mount the world! Yep. That does not look good in there. They were barricaded in there, and yet they died anyway. <gasps> oh no! How mysterious. I don't know why I'm being so mysterious. I don't think there's a single person in the world who doesn't know what we're about to find. I don't. You really don't? I never... Well, I don't know. Um, I'm kind of only half paying attention, and I've never played this game. You're only half <laughs> paying attention. You jerk. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm watching, but it only it doesn't run at full speed, so I kind of only get... And there's no sound. So I get like a quarter of the information the game is trying to give me. So, well, you know. you should pay attention more. Well, fuck. Because it's running at maybe half speed. Well, it, was, is... it wasn't really foreshadowed. I can never remember how to get out of this room. It wasn't really foreshadowed by the game at all. It was just kind of... This game is so popular that a lot of people know what's going to happen. Oh, I probably have heard it, but since I don't know what's going on... Oh, hey! Uh, a living... Oh, God, he shot at me. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, I don't like bullets. Have some of mine. I don't want them, because I don't like bullets, remember? He actually could have killed me there. That would have been funny. <laughs> so we laughed. have a room full of... Dead things. Dead and gunshot marks and an insane marine who tried to kill me. What is happening? The fact that I can hear my heartbeat because my health is so low just makes this all more creepy. Yeah, you should always have low health. Because this... Cause then, I remember when I first played this, I did not expect this game to take this kind of turn. It was like this big, colorful sci-fi space shooter, and now suddenly it's... almost scary. Like, you don't want to go through any doors, because you don't know what you're going to see. More scenes of, like, death and gruesome destruction and Ooh. blood everywhere. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing Dementium. What the heck is Dementium? It was a really obscure horror game that was only released on the Nintendo DS and only sold like 10,000 copies, and I have one. Oh man, I don't have a DS. I'm so hipster. Although I they did, they did, they did come out with a sequel, which is cool. Ooh, we found a health pack. Yep. No more heart beating for you. I could have sworn we saw a event down there, but I guess not. A, a event. God. Oh yeah, you can get out of here. I haven't played this level in like seven years and I still remember most of it. Here we go, cutscene. This is oh the event god. I was thinking of. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why do we always have to listen to this old stuff, Sarge? Watch your mouth, son. This stuff is your history. It should remind you, Grunts, what we're fighting to protect. Hey, if the Covenant want to wipe out this particular part of my history, 
That's fine by me. Yeah, better it than us. You ask them real nice next time you see them, Vicente. I'm sure they'll be happy to oblige. LZ looks clear. I'm bringing us down. Go, go, go! <laughs> <laughs> 